Alright everybody, time for me to struggle a little more. It's kind of why I play my player more because I seem to have an easier time with that. <laughs> well, keep going on trying this. Ugh. Trying to figure out a new series name. Because I was going to do Thief for exploring the world, then I thought it's not really technically an open world game. So I was thinking, this is not going to fit for exploring the world. So then I was thinking, maybe I should create a new series for like the new, a, the, a new game for the week that comes out. Which I know came out last week. So I'm, ch I'm trying to think of what I want to make with a new series if I want to do new games, what to call it. Okay. One of you as we check out the scenic structures of downtown Dallas, Texas. All right. Greetings, everyone. 2K Sports brings you the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan. I'm joined by Clark Kellogg and Steve. Didn't Kirk. I say this is Trey Jones? We to bring you all the action. Now a chance to check out our starting lineups. Okay. And one of the players we'll be seeing in this one, Thaddeus Young. Well, he's developed into an incredible fan favorite. And yes. That alone makes him a valuable nice. commodity because of the buzz that he brings to the arena, whether he's at home or on the oh road. Oh, my God. Okay. And he also loves to jump into the passing lanes and pick you off. Yes. He likes to shoot the gap. It backfires on occasion. But like a great base runner, he said, Oh, that was well. the very the good pass. <laughs> last contest, that game against the yeah. Nuggets in Denver. And a very confident performance offensively, I think. You guys okay, are where really where uh, yeah, yeah. how this team clicks. I mean, when they're communicating and executing, sharing the ball, they're tough to beat. And Steve, you got to love oh. the kind of performance. Oh, give me that. I mean, to be a great team in the NBA, you have to be able to have that kind of performance. And the other teams build really solid. Now here's Wall after Eric Gordon's miss. Oh. <laughs> Seemed to be all well and good when John Wall got back to playing about no, two months don't into make last it. season. Oh. Before that, there was a time okay. he was scared who said he that? to sit out the entire game. Who game. said that? And he can't oh, he second. missed. And here's Denver. They come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. And Kevin, they were able to keep that game relatively close, but you could tell things were not clicking for them. Yeah, I agree with you, Steve. I mean, it could nice. have been worse, though. I mean, they didn't look fresh at any point in the okay. game. Just seemed to be go. listless. Keep going. And going back to Wall, he missed the time with the repetitive stress injury Clark in his left knee. And that's concerning, Kevin, because it is the launch knee for a right-handed player. I mean, Give me that. He some God dang it. Under his left knee cap and uh. That doesn't regenerate itself, you know, so... Long term, it might be a problem because athleticism is a huge part of what John Wall is as a player. Always has been, you're yeah. right. Tries it from nine. And there's yes. Ibaka. That's good on the assist yes. by Williams. Really nice work Baca. inside there. He'll always give you a battle on the interior, guys. Passes to Beast. Fades away. Oh. That's good. You don't see the wide open fadeaway shot too often. Nuggets have gotten their first three shots to go in for them to start off this game. It's Williams with the drive. Young against Ibaka. Oh, Ibaka gets stuck. Now here's Wall. A 14-point game for him in the win against Denver. Yeah, he picked his spots in that game, too, Kevin, because I thought he not only did a nice job scoring, but setting up his teammates as well. Shot clock at five. Right side wall. Can't tie it up as that one misses. No! Looking for Pekovic, he gets it there. Beasley, the pass to Young. It's Wall with the drive. That okay. ties me. Williams with the ball. He's coming off a 28-point game against Dallas. He got some huge points from the foul line, too, Kevin. He was very aggressive, generating contact. Uh, what the freaking heck, man? That's out of bounds. The Mavericks able to retain possession here. As we get a break in the action, let's take a peek at the leading defenses. The Nuggets, number one. 
They just don't let you score. I mean, this is a club that clamps down on you defensively. They play hard, and they really compete every possession. Here's Pekovic. And Holy then it comes crap. off the assist by John Wall. Well, give credit where credit is due. <sighs> Terrific assist inside. Williams against Wall. Williams dishes to oh a my goodness. It's stolen by Wall. Oh, and here we go. Wall's got it. The fast break chance. And it's Gordon missing. That's not an opportunity he fails to convert very often. Barnes kicks to Ibaka. Lays it up and banks it in. Well, and the bounce pass was the key to the play. The Mavericks have gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. Young outside. He feeds it to Pekovic, and it's blocked by Ibaka, and he recovers it. Oh. Drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. So it'll be Pekovic shooting. Joe Johnson picks one up. Big group substitution here for Denver. Robin Lopez is checked in for Young. Cephalosha comes in for Michael Beasley. Burks, he's checked in for Gordon. Uh, come on, get that for you now. leading by three. Here's Burks. And Lee pulls it down. Denver's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Now Okafer inside, and he floats nice. in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. They are really doing a nice job establishing a presence inside early. And that's going to open things up for them on the perimeter going forward, Clark. Barbosa kicks to Burks. Pass to Lopez. And Okafer with the block. Joe Johnson on the wing. Covered by Cephalosha. And that there one's go. good. Johnson's got his first two points of the night. You know, the only tough part of that basket for him was getting into such good position. The rest of it seemed easy. Let's send it out to Doris Burke, who caught up with head coach Rick Carline. Doris? He said that slowing down Joe Johnson will definitely be a big key for them. He added, Johnson is so big and is able to shoot over the top of you. We just need to make sure that we're always right in his jersey, never losing track of him. Wow, Blair, nice. force him into tough, contested shots. Guys, we'll see if they can slow him down. Thanks, Doris. Watson with it, covered by Cephalosha. Okafer gets go. the bucket. Beautiful ball movement again. Last five trips, they've all ended with a great pass leading to a basket, Steve. I mean, they are really sharing the basketball. Now, here is Barbosa. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Burks can't get it to go. He's always going to have a difficult time finishing when the defense is in his face like that. And there's there Joe Johnson go. on the assist by Lee. How in the world did they let him get that wide open? Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Cephalosia passes to Barbosa. I hate Cephalosia. I have him on shot my team. The run. Mm -hmm. Good as the jump shot falls. Good. Denver leading by four. Watson up top, covered by Barbosa. Watson dishes to Okafor. Kicks to Watson. Lets it go from deep. Oh, what the fruit. No shortage of score. Hate this shot. <laughs> so awkward. Tune in next Sunday. Now the second quarter getting ready to start up. And look at how the hustle game has been going for Denver. You know, they've done a great job of getting a hand up on shooters. Actually have gotten a lot of blocks as well, solidifying that defensive effort. And we're also seeing a lot of fast break hoops. So this team doing a nice job getting easy points. They've got Beasley. Gordon is out there with Wall, and there's Jason Maxiel, and it's Young in at the four slot. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Oh, and crap. that one's good. And he's one player who doesn't need a lot of space to get to the basket. He's really crafty the way he can blast his way straight uh. through the traffic. He's really strong. And also, there are many players better at anticipating an opponent's next move, waiting for his moment, and then jumping in the way of the pass to come up with the steal. He's got that master. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal, active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. You know, Darren Williams is so strong. It's so close. I'd like to see him 
down on the block a little bit more often. There are very few point guards in yes. this league who really have the strength to deal with Williams in a post-up situation. And for Darren Williams, he is very oh. He can pass it, shoot it, drive it. Kills you with the crossover. And he's got excellent size that, that allows him to back you down, too. He can put you in the washing machine and take you for a spin uh. every now and then. They've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball into the paint. Yeah, they've been the aggressors, Clark, and getting the ball inside into that lane area has been huge for them. Pass to Sacre. Good, and it's nice. Williams who picks up the assist. Got three assists now in this one. Great interplay there between those two teammates. All with it. Williams picks him up. And Wall kicks to Gordon. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. They get C.J. Watson. Well, you know, Eric Gordon, when he's healthy, is really an explosive and efficient score. He's no, able Eric to spread Gordon. the floor Miss. with his three-point shooting. Dang. And he is relentless in attacking the rim for hoops when he's healthy. Luis Scola, he's checked in for Denver. Now here's Williams. Now the dish to Ibaka. The shot is off. Nice D from Axiel. And Gordon standing just six foot three, but with his powerful frame, he's able to, to power his way off into the rim. Yeah, he's so good using his nice. strength to get inside and draw contact uh, to get to the line and finish plays in which he's been fouled. Wall against Williams. Wall attacking. Here's Maxiel and Stola. That's some more rugged play from them inside. They have a decent edge and rebounds thus far. And that hard work on the boards needs to continue. That could be what swings this game eventually. Here is Watson. Uh, and the three off that. Boy, from my end, it looks like he's in the bottom sucker. of the net. Look good from here. Yeah, I thought so too, Clark. Here's Maxiel and Paul. God dang it, Skull. I should, I should get rid of Skull. <laughs> And let's run down not that you, impressive the top three of a player. Point guards in the league this season. Number one, Darren Let's Williams. See who I can get. His first job is to orchestrate for his teammates, but being as fantastic as he is at shooting the three, he's never reluctant to take that shot if it's available to him. Nor should he be. I mean, I tell you what, I would give him the green light every time down, although he probably nice. already has it. Denver making a switch here. Johnson's checked in. And a chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Gentlemen, Rick Carlisle is widely considered an outstanding strategist and X and O's coach. But with the oh, oh, now it's ball. Yes. The last few seasons, he's tried to keep things as simple as possible for them. He said, quote, my ongoing goal is to call less or no plays if we can. We want our guys to make plays. Kevin? Well, Doris, when you've got that kind of talent and IQ, playing God, on instant can certainly be effective. Emeka Okafor, he's checked in for Malcolm Lee. Whenever you play Denver, you know it's going to be an up and down game. Come they on, love, the yes. Nuggets love to push the tempo and make the game a track meet. And a lot of times they were better at it than their opponents because they're an excellent fast breaking team. Now here's Williams, averaging 19 points open. per contest. He dishes it to Okafor. Out of bounds. No! Come on! Intimidation of intimidation right in front of push the me. on this push overlay. Me. <laughs> Let's take a moment here for the career leaders in blocks per game. Some giants of the NBA. Well, that's what you'd expect, right? Mark Eaton, seven foot four. Manute Bowl, seven seven. I mean, those are specialists right there. And then you have more all around big guys like Hakeem Olajuwon, David yes. Robinson. And I'll tell you what, if you're averaging Stuff. around three blocks a game, well, that's top tier. Yes. And he gets it to go. That's seven points for Johnson. The Nuggets scored a ton of points last season, and, and among the several categories, Steve, that they led the way in was fast break points. You could see it with their big. Well, I like the way they ah. constructed their roster, Kevin, because everybody from the guards to the centers could all run and get out in the open floor. So it was like an avalanche when Denver would, would come at you, particularly on their home floor, with not just three guys running, but all five. Here is Williams. Oh, what? Awesome. That's his first foul. Burks, he's checked in for rope. 
Now, here's Burks. He's guarded by Johnson. Go, 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 go. With the steal. And there's the feed to Johnson. And that one yes. is hammered home. What a smooth finish. Well, he's certainly the one they want on the end of those breaks. He always finishes strong. Barboza off the pick from Pekovic. Barboza kicks to Burks. Shot. Burks has got his first bucket of the night. 59 seconds left to play in the first half. Outside, Williams. There's the pass to Okafor. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Average trail by three. I'd like to see them go two for one here. I would too. They need to make this a quick possession and a fruitful for one too. No, he's going to keep banging those home if you give him that much space. Barbosa against Williams. He kicks to play. The basket is good off the assist from Williams. Williams has got five assists tonight. Well, I'll bet his teammates love playing with him. He's distributing the ball perfectly. Well, he keeps everybody happy, and you know what? The assist numbers don't lie. Barbosa's shot is off. That's the kind of defense required when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were right in his face. Yes. The reaction from the defense, and he's always going to make good on that. And a tight game here as we end the first half. The Nuggets on. Hey, Kevin, I've got Joe, and you started out with a great first half and seemed to have that extra boost in your game tonight. Did you feel you needed to take on a bigger role? I'm just trying to be more assertive, man, on both ends of the court. You know, I think everybody had to step up, so I'm just trying to do my part. An assertive Joe is an effective Joe. Thank you. Right, definitely Kevin. doing much right, better boys, this thank game. You and now, presented by Sprint. Well, I am taking them more to the hoop. Mondays. For the Celtics, they'll be the Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Welcome back, everyone. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. What can you say? Joe Johnson, an impressive effort here today. Yeah, he was on a mission there in the first half, just trying to get into the lane every time possible. Aggressive attacking basketball at its very best. Oh, God, no. Shaw, starting the second half. Williams is out there with Johnson. And it's Matt Barnes. And it's a back end. And it's Skola in its center. You know, the Mavs, like many teams, always aware of who the free agents are that might help them become better. And prior to last season, yeah. they made sure they got their finances in order to make a run at Darren Williams to bring him home to Texas. Didn't work out, but they did the same thing this last offseason. Here is Wall. Darren Williams picking up that last basket. And Wall kicks to Gordon. Here's the two drive. Ah, and that was good. Gordon's got 11. And for the Mavs, they know that in order for them to remain competitive and not go through a traditional rebuilding phase where they're going to finish you know, at the bottom for a few years, you know, Steve, they're going to have to lure some free agents. Yeah, and one way or another, their top brass has always made sure that they would be able to move contracts around and make an offer to whatever big-name player was out there. But think about it. The last two years, they had unlimited cap room, unable to lure that big free agent fish to Dallas. Let's check out what Doris Burke has for us. Guys, John Wall may be the fastest player in the league, that. but it's been his outside shot that's held him back from becoming a superstar. He said in his younger days, he never needed to shoot from outside, yeah. and added that if he did, he shot it, quote, like I was a lights-out shooter, fade away, yeah. no follow-through. In other words, he made the shot more difficult than it had to be. Now, he says, the main thing for me is using my speed and shooting on the way up. Guys, he's put a lot of work into his shot, and we're starting to see the results. Well, as his shooting comes along, that's a great way for uh. him to really find his niche, Doris. Thanks. They've been good on all three of their shots since coming out of the locker room at the break. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nuggets. Last time they met was in Denver. And it's hard to point out anything that they did well in that loss. I mean, the game never got out of hand, but they were pretty shaky across the board. And Steve, you know how optimistic and positive I am, and I had a tough time finding anything positive there either. I mean, my goodness, they um, did keep it somewhat close. I guess that's the best I can say at this point. Well, what's the old saying? If you can't say something nice about someone, don't say anything at all. 
He made a name for himself in the league as being one of the best undersized fours out there, guys. With that, yes. And Louis Sola can go up against somebody who's much taller than him and still find a way to pump fake his way to a hoop. Oh. Rebounded by Dallas. That's that. an easy shot there. That's a shot that he should make more often than not. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Hey, guys. Well, Brian Shaw had some advice for the team over that last break. He'd like them to better establish the transition game, to pick up the tempo and put pressure on the defense in the open floor. He also urged them to drive the lane aggressively on offense, saying they won't be able to handle us if we can get bodies to the basket each and every time down the court. There's the still plenty of basketball left to play, and as we watch how these adjustments play out, It'll be interesting. Thanks, Doris. Here's Sacre. Just five on the clock. Williams passes to Sacre. There you the go. Nice shot. Sacre has got his second best. And Skola Steve at 6'9, not the biggest or most athletic player, certainly on the floor, but he does a good job on the glass. He, he seems to be a very yes. solid player. And he plays very physically, you know, on defense. He'll, he's not Zachary afraid to get into pretty good. Uh, Probably struggles to defend the more athletic players, but uh, I think Skola is one of the smarter, uh, savvier players we have in this league. Omeka Okafor is checked in for God the God dang it, Darren Wallace. Stolen by Wall. Here's Roten, who's guarded by Johnson. Roten kicks to Maxio, and it's nice. blocked by Ibaka. Stuff him. Here's Barnes. Ah, oh, come on, to go. man. Excellent D that time from Roten. Here's Maxio, and he uses the glass on the way. You know, that's a case there, Kevin, of him making a pass to a spot, and then he let his teammate run right into it. Well executed. Ibaka with a screen on wall. Williams dishes to Ibaka. Shoots it up. Nice. Hits the jump hook. Ibaka's got six. You got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of grind it out physical game. Yeah, that was your game, Clark. Pound it inside and <laughs> take the ball right to the defense. <laughs> That's what I tried to do, man. I knew my limitations. Here's Gordon. Off nice. target. That was a little heat check. Feeds it to Johnson. We've got 148 left in the third quarter. Nice. And yes, sir, that one drops. And it's a five-point Denver lead. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. Looks like he saw some things out there that needed adjusting and uh, wants to talk it over a little bit with his club. I don't think you can ever go wrong burning the timeout if you see something you don't like and you need to talk about it. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Rick Carlisle was going over with his team in that last huddle. He wants his players to step up the pace. He told them they should be looking to get out and run every chance they get. The next message he had for them was that they should be attacking the basket on offense. He felt very strongly that the defense they're up against is vulnerable down low. Probably a good time to make some changes with a good chunk of the second half still to go, Kevin. All right, Doris. Excellent display of passing out there, fellas. I mean, eight of their last ten points have been assisted on. Well, they continue to find the open man and play unselfishly. This is true team basketball we're seeing. Now here's Johnson. He's got 13. Dishes it to Barnes. Back to Johnson. Oh, come on, with the rebound. What was the defense doing there? I mean, he is... Oh, 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 oh. Dude, well, why do I miss the free op the open shots with the computers like never do? Sponsored by Kia, the Kia Slam Cam, giving us a great look at that one, and he gets it to go. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Lopez kicks to rope. Another shot. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Way to play in attack mode and get inside. And you know, if you're on defense and you're going to foul, make sure it's a good one. They did, preventing the and one. He makes one of two that time. They should be in front. Right oh, now. my God. Not to have come up totally empty there. Oh, Barbosa. He's got five. 
Fires the three. Can't hit. Look at the big man there. He knows how to go up and get that rebound. Wednesday. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. A tremendous point guard play, but that's nothing new coming from him. This is what you expect, the gorgeous feed there. Beasley out there with Young. Then there's Barbosa, and it's Wall, and it's Pekovic in at the five down low. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Barnes passes to Williams. Nice. Got the bucket. Williams has got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Nuggets. The Mavericks trail it. And here is Barbosa. Pass to Pekovic. He feeds it to Wall. Dallas moving the ball around. For the three. And it's Barbosa again missing. Now here's Johnson. Okafor dishes to Williams. Ouch. Good defensive work there by Young. Now the Mavericks with it. Following this one, they get to host the Warriors. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. No doubt the Golden State fans, some of the best in the league, they, they want to see their Warriors win that one. Uh -huh. the steal. Pass to Wall. Scola against Beasley. Doubled by Scola. And uh, the officials what? call the foul, reaching out and committing the intentional foul here, and his teammates are baffled. Yeah, everybody's kind of looking at him like, what are you doing? I mean, I, I think he just lost track of the situation. And the Nuggets making a change here. Abaka's checked in. Now here's Wall. Kicks it to Pekovic. Five on the clock. Wall against Williams. Wall's shot is off. Well, there was no hand in his face right there. I thought for sure he was going to knock that down. Williams kicks to Ibaka. Left side, Ibaka. Rejected by Young. Dang it. Williams against Wall. Pass to Beasley. Johnson with the block. Dish now to Scola, uh, stolen by Gordon. Oh, and here we go. Wall's got it. The fast break chance. Williams with the block. It's three on three on the fast break. Johnson with it. He's picked up by Wall. Williams gets the bucket. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Nuggets. Now we've seen them make that extra effort rotating from the weak side, closing out on their airspace, really sending shots back. They haven't wasted time ah. getting the ball up the court tonight either, and it's resulted in a lot of fast break points. You know, it's really going to be all about hard work from this point on. And they worked hard to create that high-quality shot right there. Yeah, and that's their goal down the stretch. Continue to find those close-range shots. And now okay. Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Hi, guys. Over that break, I was able to catch the message Brian Shaw was giving to his team. He was highly animated when he was talking to them, telling them this is going to be a huge nice. win for us. When we close this out, it will go a long way towards showing the rest of the league what we're capable of. We're in the final quarter of play here, three minutes in. All with it, Williams picks him up. The feed now to Gordon. Wall against Williams. Six on the shot clock. Beasley inside, covered by Barnes. Nice. No good from Beasley. Boy, have they been hitting the glass hard or what? Kind of surprising with such a tight game. Yeah, you're right. Very rarely will you out-rebound in a point yes. like that and not have it pay off. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. It's Young on the wing, guarded by Scoa. Shot clock at six. On its way from Beasley for uh. two. Bullseye! 
And so here's Denver. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Ball against Williams. Johnson up top. He dishes it to Ibaka. That. <sighs> Pekovic. Pekovic has got six rebounds here tonight. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it hasn't affected them. No. The three. Beasley. They get it again. God dang it. Get a rebound, Stola. Oh, my God. Too easy on that second chance opportunity. Yeah, no box out is what happened there. Those kind of mistakes on the glass will kill the team. Now here's Williams. There's 117 left to play in the final quarter. A three from Barnes. Yes. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Williams has got nine assists in the game. Great pass. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris. Hey, guys. Well, Brian Shaw had some advice for the team over that last break. He focused on their offense and said to his guys, make the extra pass. Oh. Don't try to play hero ball and do it by yourself. That ends up leading to bad shots. He mentioned one other thing, which was that he does not want his players getting overly aggressive at the defensive end. He wants them playing under control. So coach waiting until the final stages to pull a few tricks out of his sleeve. Kevin, let's see if he's made a wise decision. All right, Doris, thank you very much. Now here's Stone. Nice. Yes. Well executed possession. They controlled the shot. Nicely done. This could be a turning point. Kevin, oh, yes. Here. It's stolen by Ibaka, and he commits the intentional foul. Here is Williams. So let's just waste time here. 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Williams double team. Sure, yeah. Denver has possession. Lock at six. And Ibaka kicks to Williams. Ibaka in the post. Ah. He's against Young. The putback is no good. Beasley with it. Now the pass to Gordon. It's in! Such nonsense. So foul intentionally. <laughs> yeah, you gotta freeze the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. A few misses at the line, and they're in good shape. First free throw is good, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And a tough break is a second attempt at the line. No good. And the Mavericks call time here. They're down by four. Just four seconds left to play here in the fourth. What do you think, guys? Now they'll try to get a quick foul if they can get a score out of this timeout. It's going to be a long shot. Good thing John Wall's not exactly that great a series. So it's the Nuggets taking the W in a close one. It was tight, but they managed to come up with the win. You know, nobody wants to lose a close game, Kevin. It's Uh, Scola, even though he couldn't get any rebounds, he did get go four for four. Oh my god, Ibaka. Three for nine. Holy crap. Hmm. Yeah.